Hey, welcome to Coffee, 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 your place for average Joe coffee reviews. Today's coffee beans come from Latin America and the Pacific part of Asia. Today we are reviewing Starbucks Espresso Roast. So, yeah, it's supposed to be rich and caramelly. And it is the the roast that they use for their actual espresso drinks, like your lattes and whatnot. Hmm. Interesting. And by the way, if you're ever at a Starbucks, get a Breve Latte. It is delicious. And blonde? You later. No. Just non-blonde. One. But they're both good. Three? Two non-blondes. Four? Which one? Four non-blondes. Four non- Oh, right. Four non-blondes. What'd they sing? Hey! That? <laughs> What's going on? Was that yeah. them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think we have to worry about copyright infringement. <laughs> YouTube's gonna flag it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it's a deep dark roast. Deep dark forest. 100%. Of espresso coffee. Arabica. Right. So they say a lot about it, but basically it's caramelly and dark right and rich same uh they've been roasting it the same way since 1975 yeah so they apparently never... went out into the jungle found some beans it was really hot they roasted it and they said let's not do that again we'll just keep it the same from 1975 right that's what happened i'm gonna go down here and get my coffee i don't think <laughs> backwards back up the stairs right that was excellent yeah. i'm sure it looked very lifelike let's try it yeah. So, well, let's talk about price while we're tasting it. We got it on sale for $6.99 for a 12-ounce bag. It's normally $9.50 at our local Publix, and that takes it to $12.66 per pound. Mm-hmm. So on the pricey end of store-bought coffee. Yeah, pricey-ish. But this is one I like. Like It's got a caramelly you, flavor. Yeah, like caramelly. It's dark and roasty, but not smoky. Right. Um, Their treks through the jungle were worth it. Why do you keep saying treks through the jungle? That's what it says on here. What? They trekked through the jungle? Yeah. I missed that part. They, I don't know, they coaxed some beans (laughs) in the jungle. Oh, it really does. Does it? Or, I don't see jungle. (laughs) But because I said it, she thought it was true. Yeah, quest. It doesn't say jungle anywhere. Whenever I think of quest... Think of Jonathan Quest. Is that his name? Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest. The cartoon guy? Jonathan was his real name. <laughs> What's the name of that kid that you probably loved when you were a teenager? Zach Morris. No, Jonathan. <laughs> Taylor Thomas. No, there's another one. He had long blonde hair. Not long, but you know that. Like, Jonathan. Jonathan. Was... was he on a futuristic show? I, I don't know. We'll think of it sometime and maybe I'll put his name right here. Jonathan. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking Either about. Either way. Uh, yeah, so the coffee's good overall. Well, what did that have to do with the coffee? <laughs> Quest. I went on a diatribe. <laughs> is that the right word? No, diatribe, I think, is when you're fussing at somebody. Oh, I was fussing Bitter at Bitter diatribe. You're, or you're fussing, you're fussing about something. Ah. Bitter diatribe. And I wasn't. It was but, in uh, Runaway. Not, yeah, Runaway Bride. Bitter mm-hmm. diatribes about women. Something like that. Another movie about a quest. <laughs> anyway. Got all for this review. I feel like it's time to wrap it up. Three and a half donuts? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, three and a half we donuts. We agree. Yeah. Uh, tell us in the comments below about your favorite Starbucks blend, mm-hmm. roast. Mm-hmm. Have you had this espresso roast? Espresso self in the comments <laughs> about what you thought of it. And thanks for joining us. Until next time. Keep grinding.